Hello, DDP students, and welcome to the next tutorial in our carabiner shuttle pen assembly. In the last tutorial, we made the plastic barrel and the ballpoint end for our shuttle pen. And um, this is going to be a sub assembly um, that is going to continue to be built upon. Um, we already have two components in this sub assembly. But what I like to do is I like to create a separate file as we start to build just to preserve some of the um, older sub assemblies. So I'm going to go to file, I'm going to go to save as, and I'm going to rename this color selector. Okay. Now I'm going to start a new component and I'm also going to call that color selector. Okay, and I'm going to go to Construct, Offset Plane, and we're going to be working on the back of this here. So I'm going to choose this face for our offset plane, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be setting that distance here at a negative 3 16 Okay, and when we set it, let's zoom out just so you can see what's going on here. So the part that we're making is going to be in here, okay, starting here and going outwards. So what we're going to be doing is we are going to be creating a new sketch. We're going to be choosing our work plane here to sketch off of, okay. I'm going to hit P for project geometry. I'm going to move in here. I'm going to select this inner circle, okay, so that can be referenced. Okay, and I'm now going to finish the sketch. I'm going to hit extrude. That is going to be extruded out. If we take a look at that, um, the distance could be 0.188. Okay, let's see how that looks. Okay, so that's in there. All right, great. Um, so we are going to create a new sketch on the face this here. All right, so here we are. And what we're gonna be doing is we're going to be creating a T shape. All right, so we're gonna activate our line. I'm gonna be starting out, so there's two units here. I'm gonna be starting out somewhere in the center. Try to get the same distance. Go up to here. Just gonna sort of estimate what I'm looking for here. So I'm trying to keep an e equal amount of space. One, two, three and a half. Two, three and a half. Okay. I'm gonna use this line here to reference. And I'm gonna find this here. Okay, so here we are. Um, what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to try to align this the best I can. I'm going to start out with the horizontal and vertical constraint just to make sure this is a straight line. Okay, good. I'm going to go to my line tool and I'm going to run it across here till I find the center. There's the center. I'm going to bring it down till I can find the center of that line. Now I'm going to click off. I'm going to go to my vertical horizontal constraints and I'm just going to reference this line. Okay. And that's going to straighten things out um, a little more. I'm now going to go to my coincident constraints and I'm going to choose the line and the origin point and that's going to center everything. And um, before we get started on adding dimensions, I'm just going to move these up sides here. And I'm going to be adding a collinear constraint. So this and this are the same. All right. So what we're ready to do now is we're ready to add some dimension. So I'm going to hit D to activate my dimensions. I'm going to go from the origin point to the bottom line. And we're going to do a point 125. OK. Now, um, actually, what before. I go any further. I should have done this before. I'm going to make this a construction line. Okay. I'm going to continue. 
All right, and I'm just going to set this height here to 0.15. All right, fantastic. We're going to set the total width to 0.235. Okay, we're going to set the total height to 0.22. And then I'm going to set the width of this bottom part here. Zoom out to 0.12. And that's going to make everything just as I want it. Okay, cool. So we are now going to finish the sketch. And we are going to extrude not just this, but we're going to add this as well. So you're both selected. Okay, so I hit shift to select this as well because it wasn't selecting until I hit shift. And I'm going to extrude this. Okay, where's my field? Oh, right here. All right, great. So I'm gonna extrude this out a distance of 0.820. Okay, we're going to set that, and this is what we have. Okay, I'm going to activate that uh, top level here, and this is what we have so far. All right, so for the next tutorial, we're going to be adding features to this back part. All right, it's going to be bit of a long one. So um, I will see you there.